Real quick, let's check out some trailers. Real quick, hold on. Trailers. God damn! Trailers. Hey, Don Quintitious, how has your week been, man? Um, I've been catching up with your games in the background, and I have to ask this again. Yes. How has your view changed for this video? Last time wasn't a good reception, so here it is again. Hum. What is this? Pay me one billion dollars, and I'll kill Superman. What makes you think you can kill Superman when you can't even handle a mere mortal in a Halloween costume? There's nothing mere about that mortal. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Ain't nothing weird about him, bro. Ain't nothing weird about him, bro. He's that guy. He's that guy. Not too much on Batman. Not too much on Batman, all right? You're right, you're right, you're right. Chat, we got a new trailer for, uh, or I guess this is a teaser trailer for, um, uh. Chat, what's this movie called? Chat, what's the name of this movie? Joy, coming to you live in Riley's mind. Get on your feet and make some noise. Anger. Let me at him. Fear. Mouth guard, people. Disgust. No, 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 no. That's not ours. Sadness is in the house. Yay. Orange? Who made the console orange? Hello. Ah. Oh, my gosh. I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? This film is not yet rated. Uh, chat. I'm not gonna lie, like, how are we feeling about it? It looks, it looks like it could be really, really interesting. Um, the concept of an anxiety being a, 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 uh, a, a, you know, a thing. But I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they kind of milking it now, bro. I feel like they kind of milking it, man. When you were 22, what were your life goals? Before YouTube, what was your reason to wake up every morning? There wasn't one, bro. Like, the book. <laughs> There literally wasn't one, bro. Um, I was just doing, bro. I was just, you know, I was just doing shit, bro. Come on now. Uh, Knuckle. Oh wait, this is gonna be. Wait, hold on. A Knuckles series. Wait, am I tripping? I thought there was a new Sonic movie coming out. You're an alien. You're super powerful. Wait, I, bro. I thought that was Knuck. If you buck. You're super powerful. Recently saved the world with your friends. What do you like to do for fun? Vengeance. You are not Batman. I was thinking more like reading or, or, or yoga. <sighs> oh, wow. It's actually Nuck If You Butt. Okay. <laughs> it's actually Nuck If You Buck. Okay. Hey, buddy. Isn't it great to finally relax? I am an echidna warrior. Don, after seeing that dick, I'm so far gone. Nothing was the same. I'm already knowing it takes care. The way that shit was swinging, it was like a scorpion. After seeing it, are you a certified lover? The way them niggas was tripping, it's like he posted for Al. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the fox. So I made myself a grown ass man, teenager, or child. That is weird. Okay. That's weird all around, bro. I don't know what influenced you to say that. All right. But it's just weird all around. It don't matter what age you are. That's just, that's just unacceptable. At home. Nope. We are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing here? He will be challenging his greatest enemy. Is that still Idris Elba? This is not a place of yeah. battle, so I will begin my quest. Come, Weed. Well, most people think I'm a joke. 
I do not make jokes. Do you I... also have the trailer for the Dan Schneider and Nickelodeon documentary lined up too? Huh? Make warriors. Oh, let's go get him. Knuckles. Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. He's the key to all my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring me Knuckles. Uh, was that just... Was that Kid Cudi? <laughs> key to all my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring me Knuckles. What? Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course we need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. What the hell? You're mine. I made a promise to protect this planet. I am ready. Oh, snap! Someone's about to get slapped. It's this new trailer. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Hmm? Ah! You gonna rescue him? No, he must learn to rescue himself. Um, did we really need a show, though? Did we really need a show, though? Uh, I don't think, I don't think we, I don't know if we really needed a whole show for that. Uh, God damn! Junie Cortez, I've been on the VODs for a while now, and this is for the pussy ass bitches in the chat asking for Tomb Raider or Transformers or any other mid. If you do not play these, your father arc will not be complete. See this ASAP. In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. And you better hope that your house had cable. Wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slimed, to be entertained. And this is when Dan Schneider arrives. Nickelodeon's golden boy. He created these shows that were hugely successful for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers of child actors who became major stars. For 20 years, he shaped children's entertainment and culture. Hey, thank you for being here. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. Working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. Dan's treatment of people on his shows was an open secret. So my lawyer filed complaints, gender discrimination, hostile work environment, harassment, and it was so devastating. How safe can any kids be in that environment? There would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set. These okay, okay, so I wonder how, what the... F I wonder how many people knew this and didn't say anything. Because she's talking about this is an open secret. It's like, nobody said nothing? Like, what are we doing here? There were three predators who worked at Nickelodeon. What the fuck? short amount of time. Hey okay, guys, what are you for you? It was a toxic environment. It made me trust people less. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. I had no idea what I was saving my son from. It's a house of horrors. They Yo, I remember him. He was in, uh, oh my God, what was that movie? Hardball. But I was saving my son from. I was wondering, bro, I was wondering why we didn't see any more of him. Cause like he, I feel like he was like a star. Like he shined in that movie Hardball. If you haven't seen it with Keanu Reeves, it's, it's, it's a banger. It's a house of horrors. They find this enormous trove of child pornography. The officer said we found Ziploc bags, each one with a girl's name on it. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. It made me wonder who was being hurt. 
I've been waiting 17 years for today. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. Have you ever told your story publicly before? Here's the thing the executives that ran Nickelodeon at the time knew what was happening behind closed doors, but since Dan was making them so much money, they obviously were gonna let him do whatever sick shit he was doing, and they no. made money off kids. What the fuck? Um. God damn! They talking boohoo, he was mean to me, nigga. Yarl was letting him touch children, and Yarl ain't do shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking They're talking about, like, yeah, he, he kind of made it hard on set. Nobody gives a fuck about how he treated you on set. Uh, hello, the children. Yo, this is like, bro, this is actually like, this is like, I already knew he was weird, but it's like just here in the background, like hearing what, what people's kind of shit, like they main kind of gripe was like a part of their gripe is kind of weird. Like, what is this? Damn! What type of anime shit? Interested, ain't gonna lie, ain't gonna lie. Well, hold on, what was this here? Hold on. How do you? I think we saw this. Oh, one hour ago. Uh, um, okay. Well, well, the Inquisitor himself. I'm happy to see you, Master. Enter a city of sin. Did Venerable Yorga really poison the book? Have you heard anything about a vampire? What? You lost me, man. You'd be headed and gutted like a hog. The killer. Yo! Yeah, I can't. I, I, that for sure can't be on YouTube. Nope. <laughs> giving it looks like a lot of like uh yo puzzles oh yeah chat also 
I remember I was talking about this game. I uh, talking about this show, and I was like, yo, this shit look like it's going to be ass or whatever, bro. I ain't going to lie, man. And then something comes out. Something comes out where people are upset, and it's like, it's not going to be, it's not going to be true to the his actual character or any of the characters. They kind of have their own little spin on it. And y'all was getting on me when I was like, yeah, this shit looks ass. <laughs> it's not like the movie. It's different. I'm like, why do y'all put so much faith in these recreated adaptations, bro? If y'all, like, just, like, we just need to stop, like, bowing down for this shit, bro. Every time they just throw a name on it and then got characters on it. Because they not, they not doing the same shit, bro. They changing everything so that they can give y'all these messages. But y'all, but don't, don't take it from me, man. Watch the show, man. Watch the show. Watch the, you just watch the show, bro. Watch the show, and I don't want to hear you complain when the show's trash, bro. American Conspiracy, bro. The Octopus Murderer, bro. Danny Casalero was found dead over the weekend in a motel in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Local authorities quickly ruled his death a suicide. West it just didn't, it didn't sit right. In my mind, I'm thinking they killed him. A documentary series from the producers of Wild Wild Country. The book that Danny was writing. He starts looking into these powerful people and realizes there's something much bigger going on. He He's cracked, a man. He cracked the code. It was set up. They're no longer government officials, but their tentacles can reach into any part of government in almost any country. Okay, so my thing is like, he got killed for that. So you gonna make a whole documentary about it? What you think gonna happen to you, bro? <laughs> what do you think is about to happen to you? I've come to call this group the octopus. Most of us were convinced that he had been hurt for him covering this story. If the federal government says, we don't know what you're talking about, it's beyond what a couple of local detectives can do. It all started with the software promise. These programs allegedly allowed the CIA to spy on the intelligence agencies that bought it. The two of them transferred in excess of $40 million. Wait a minute, wait. Programs allegedly allowed the CIA to spy on the intelligence agencies that bought it. The two of them transferred in excess of forty million dollars. Yo, you know they're doing that with phone. With they're doing that with iPhones too, bro. They're doing that. They're doing that with phones. They're doing that with phones, bro. Money was used. Oh my God. Buy off. No, bitch. Let it all out. Let it all out. This money was used to buy off. It was a disturbing conspiracy. A lot of people that reported on there are dead. All three of them had been shot in the head. We knew who was involved. No one was ever brought to justice. We found the body. There was a wire running from around his neck to his ankles. There's just too many people dead in this case. This former NSA guy says, I don't know how you heard that name but you can get killed just knowing that name. Can you turn yeah. the camera off? Oh, we, we literally have seen you and recorded your voice. I told him not to talk to certain people, not to raise certain issues. Danny became obsessed with this story. You have the same curiosity that Danny had. If you think for a minute that you're gonna go expose somebody, you're gonna get yourself killed. See, these are the things where the government can spin it and be like, he was a crazy dude. He was a crazy guy. Why are you watching this documentary? He was a known crazy guy and he did drugs. He was on meth, da da da. It's like, you don't know what to believe. You, you don't know what to believe anymore, bro. I like, you literally don't know what to believe because it could be spun so many ways, bro. It could be spun so many ways.